Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these geometrical beaded earrings with a circular stitch. If you know this stitch or know another name of this stitch, please share it in the comments. Please stay with me until the end of this video because later I'm sharing a secret of how to make your work to stay in a better shape and not to be soft. One way is to use fire line, but there are also other tips. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting, also subscribing for my channel because in this way you give me signals to continue with my work. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads, yellow, red and turquoise. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12, similar sizes, it's up to you. And I'm also using scissors. And now I'm going to take an arm span and a half of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up eight of these beautiful red beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I make it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling and making one more knot. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads guys and I'm going through some beads in this direction. And in my next step I'm taking a turquoise bead and I go back in circle through these beads that I'm exiting out of. You see I'm exiting out of this and I'm going backwards and in circle through it. Okay. And you see I have something like a loop between the red bead and the turquoise bead. Okay. Then I go in the next red bead take a turquoise bead and I go backwards through this seed bead and also through the following one guys just to save time. You see again here I have a loop between the red and the turquoise bead and I'm pulling. Take again a turquoise, go back through this bead and through the following as well just to save time. And I'm going to repeat these guys until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and in my next step as I'm exiting from this red bead here, I want to go in the turquoise bead and in this way guys, I'm changing directions but don't worry, it is a wanted effect. Okay, now I'm exiting out of this turquoise bead and I want to take a red one. And I'm going here in the red, in the turquoise, sorry. And now guys, because I'm right handed, it's easier for me to flip my work. You could go on and work in the other direction if you prefer. But now I want to turn it like this and continue in this direction. Okay, and in this row is really easy and really pleasant because I just fill in the gaps between my beads. Okay. 
Okay, continue adding uh, red beads until here and I'll meet you after that. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And now I think it's time to cut this tail thread. Now guys, I'm going to continue with my next row. I take two turquoise beads and I go back in circle through this turquoise and through the following red. After that, I take a red one and go back through this red and through the following turquoise. Then again, two turquoise, go back and exit out of the next thread, one red two turquoise one red two turquoise Okay guys, and I'm going to add one red to turquoise until the end and when I'm up to here, I'll meet you. Okay guys, and I just added here my last red bead, you see, as before. And now what I want to do is an additional step. As I'm exiting from this red bead, you see the one I'm pointing, I'm going here in the other one. And with this I'm changing directions and I need to reinforce this row guys because the beads in this row are not connected I want to go through all of them just like this and connect them maybe if it, it will be easier if I flip like this because I'm right-handed Okay. Then I go through all of those beads. Okay, my friends, and I just did this additional step of reinforcing, and now I'm going here in the first turquoise bead, I take a yellow and a turquoise and I go back through this turquoise and through the following turquoise, you see what I do. Okay, so I add two beads here at the first of my two turquoise that I have. Then I add one turquoise and one red. By the way, with this circular stitch formula, I have a lot of tutorials, tutorials done and I will link them down there in description to see them. And maybe I will link some of them at the TI icon as well. Okay, so now I'm going here to the next turquoise. Again, I need a yellow and a turquoise and I go back through this turquoise and exit out of the next one. So in the previous row guys, if you remember, I was adding two double and one single bead. And here I'm adding one double, I mean two beads connected to one bead, one double and two single beads, this one and this one. So this is what I do up to here Okay, and I will continue this yellow, turquoise, turquoise, red, yellow, turquoise, turquoise, red. And as I continue the same formula, guys, I'm adding here my last red, yellow, turquoise, turquoise, red, and I'm ready with this row. And what I need to do next is to go through all of those beads. 
the same way I showed you and maybe it's easier to flip. Okay, I'll go around to all of my bits and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and now I'm exiting out of this turquoise here. Okay my friends, and what I want to add at this row, when I'm here at the yellow, I need two yellows, which is a step with double beads. Then I go in the next bead and I take turquoise then I take red and then I take turquoise so one double and three single beads I continue this formula that I told you about. First I was adding one double and one single, then one double and two singles and now one double and three single beads and meanwhile I'm following also a pattern. Then I add turquoise, after that red, and after that a turquoise. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, I take two yellows, go in the turquoise. one turquoise one red and one turquoise okay and i will continue this until the end two yellows turquoise red turquoise two, two yellows turquoise red turquoise and i'll meet you here guys okay my friends and here i am where i'm adding my last turquoise bit and i'm sure you know what's coming up next i will go like this through all of my beads and i will flip my work okay i'll do this off camera and i'll meet you here Okay guys, and now I'm at this row where I need to continue the for formula that I used all the time to make these circles. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is to exit out of the first yellow. And now I will add one double and four single beads. Okay, and uh, the double is red and yellow. And I go back through this yellow and exit out of the next yellow. I have this. Then I take four single beads, one yellow. And this time, guys, I'm going to flip the colors where I have turquoise. I will take red, single red. And where I have red, I will take turquoise. And again. So I have four single beads, yellow, red, turquoise and red. Now it's time to add a double bead, red and yellow. Go back. And now four single beads, yellow, red, turquoise, red. Okay, and I'll show you the whole thing for the third time. Red and yellow. Okay, 
yellow, red, turquoise, red. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Red and yellow, yellow, red, turquoise, red. And if you forget how I'm doing it and it's difficult to, for you, just rewind the video and repeat these steps everywhere and meet me. Okay, guys, and I'm adding here my last red bead from this row. Now, you know what's coming up next. It's coming all the time. And it is to reinforce these beads okay and I usually prefer to flip when I do this now I'm going through all of those beads and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and as I reinforced my work I'm exiting here out of this red bead and now I will do something differently. I take one red. I go back through this red and through the following three beads, guys. Yellow, red and yellow. And I pull. I have this attached here. Then I take two yellow beads. And I go back through these three. Like this. Okay. Then I go in the next red one and I take a red and I go back through this red. Okay. Now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to go through all of those four newly added beads of this row. And I need three beads. I go back through these four and I go back through these three then two red beads and go back through these three and then through these two and take just one bead. Okay. Now I will go reinforcing these beads here. If you want your earrings not to be soft, probably it's better to use fire line. But my fire line is clear and it's not that visible like this thread so for tutorial purposes I'm showing it with nylon nylon thread okay now I have this then what I do is absolutely the same thing that I showed you I'm going in the first thread one here take one red go back through this thread and through the following three yellow red yellow and pull after that take two yellows and go back in circle through these three and through the following red here add one red bead go back like this through it and then backwards through all of those four beads then red yellow red and backwards one more time through these four beads and then through the next three here two reds and here one red
then continue with a reinforcement. If you have done this work, if you have done this work like me with soft thread, you could uh, apply clear nail polish or special clear crafting glue at the back of your work to make it harder. Another trick that I learned recently is like with croqueting to dip your work into sugary water and it will stay in a better shape. Okay, so now continue this until the end. It is absolutely the same thing. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat, 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 repeat everywhere and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I need to reinforce the last petal of my work. And now as I'm exiting here, guys, you see, out of this row, I take two turquoise beads, an earring finding, and two turquoise beads. And as I'm exiting here, I want to go in the same place of my next petal. And I pull. And what I want to do next, guys, is to reinforce this joint that I have here. And how I do this, I go through all of those beads in this direction. And then I go in the neighbor red bead and back again through those beads. And then I go again in this direction. Okay. Now guys, what I want to do is to make a knot and cut this tail thread. And how I do this, I go through some beads. And I find a place to make a knot. Okay, I make a loop. And I go twice through the loop I've made. I pull. And then I go through some beads in this direction. And I cut this tail thread as close as possible to my work. If it's still sticking, just use your zippers to, to burn it, okay? Okay, guys, and now my geometrical flowers earrings with circular stitch are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming tutorials. You can also check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.